September is National Suicide Awareness Month. This is a unique year for all of us. Each of you are on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic as a first line of defense in EMS. The pandemic has introduced a new and unsettling anxiety to an already stressful and demanding job. Add to that challenge a wildfire season and the stress can become all-encompassing. Sometimes that stress can take its toll in an unimaginable way with one of our brothers or sisters taking their own life. Firefighters are four times more likely to die a suicide than a traumatic line of duty death. One in three firefighters have considered suicide. Being a firefighter is the second most stressful occupation. Only combat soldiers endure more stress. It's more important than ever that we break the stigma around behavioral health. We're joining with the Cal Chiefs, Cal OES, and the Joint Apprenticeship Committee in asking you to stand down for behavioral health and suicide awareness. From September 7th through the 11th, we are asking that you tone out and cancel normal drills and activities for each shift. Instead, conduct tabletop drills or activities to focus on the impact the job can have on behavioral health. Have important discussions about the connection between the stress of the job and PTSI, your personal experiences with post-traumatic stress, how PTSI is an injury much like a bone break, the impact of COVID-19 on us and our families, and resources that are available for help. With COVID-19, our families at home are feeling the stress too. Some of our spouses have lost their jobs because of the pandemic. Our families fear exposure to the virus because of our profession, and many of us are juggling kids at home right now. It's important to recognize those stresses. Check in with your family or the family of a colleague that you know or see struggling. This is an especially tough time for everyone right now. As brothers and sisters in the fire service, we must be there for each other and speak out. These discussions can help save a life and break the stigma. Post-traumatic stress injury is real and there's danger in ignoring it. We can't lose another firefighter to suicide. We're all part of the fire family and together we can stop suicide in the fire service. For tools and resources that are specific to firefighters' needs, visit healingourown.org. This website also includes tools for your family to help cope with the stresses of COVID-19. If you need immediate assistance, call a national suicide hotline at 1-800-273-8255.